A beautiful spring day, the flowers, the reflections, the colors. Oh my goodness, the colors you find outside in May. There's an artistic flair to all of it, wouldn't you say? Now, if you really want to find art in Overload, then pay very close attention to what's going on in Crisfield. Yeah, it's the Hanging Out Art Show, from paintings to poetry and everything in between. All types of art are welcome. We sent WBOC's Heidi Warosta to Crisfield to check it out, and as you are about to hear, this free show will feature everything and anything you could imagine. I like it old-fashioned. Walking into that smell of old paper and ink. That's Lisa McCready, a local poet in Crisfield and she's submitting her poetry to the Hanging Out Art Show. The feel of cloth covers, embossed letters, raised ink, the dog-eared corners of hand-turned pages, the smudges and marks tell a story of ages. But it's not just poetry. Any type of art can be entered into the show. There'll be photography, carving, painting, poetry, um, basically anything you can think of. Each artist is limited to one piece of work, bringing a lot of diversity to the art show. And the artists can be from anywhere. Um, we have 50 artists signed up so far. And Merritt hopes to get at least 50 more before the May 16th deadline. After all, it's free. Both the admission and the food will be free, thanks to the sponsorships from PNC Bank and the Crisfield American Legion. Um, there'll be crab dip and hors d'oeuvres. There will also be wine for sale for those who are over 21. While this is the first year, they do want to make this an annual event. And to keep having the Hanging Out Art Show every year, donations will be appreciated. Uh, for $25, any person who donates that will get a poster created by uh, artist uh, Meredith Brewington. The show is also a first of its kind here in Crisfield. For painter Robin Daniels, it's an exciting opportunity to show off her artwork in a place she loves. The main point of submitting my artwork was because this is where I've you know, been born and raised. Um, I'm very passionate about um, Chris Field and also the arts as well. Um, a lot of the students that I teach are going to have artworks here. So it's, it's interesting to see mine um, displayed right alongside with theirs. While she and her students are showing off their artwork, they're able to see the work of others. So it's also interesting to see a lot of the local artists that I would not necessarily have seen their work unless they were to come here and, and display it. Late nights all alone, living fantasies fresh, drifting off to my dreams with a book on my chest. All of this artwork will be found at the former Corbin Library. It is dedicated to a former performing artist who was originally from Crisfield. The building belongs to the city of Crisfield, and it's shared with the Crisfield Arts and Entertainment District project through a memorandum of understanding. And um, in honor of Lillian Stratton Corbin, we still celebrate the arts here. So I like it old fashioned, straight from bookstores of old. For me, it's the best way for stories to be told. Jennifer is also encouraging all kinds of entries. Artists have the option to sell their work which helps support the Crisfield Arts and Entertainment District Project. What a great idea. Isn't awesome. Yeah. Well, the clock keeps ticking closer and closer to Mother's Day. What are your plans to make mom feel like the most important person in the world? Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, she is the most important person in the world, you know. So if you don't have a clue as to what you're doing, no worries.